We are living in a custom built sprinter van for the next 48 hours. And if you've been here a while, then you'll know that this is Bob's dream come true. This is one of my favorite vans out there. This is my dream van right here. It's my favorite. All right, I still think this one is my favorite. Last week's video was a full tour of this van. This week's video, we get to live in it. So we've traded in our Ram Promaster for Talaro and are ready to fully embrace living in a completely different van for the next two days. So time to say goodbye to Mr. Lemon and hello to True Vans Vision X. <laughs> Okay, so we just got in the van. I am so stoked that I, I, I don't know. I, I gotta actually stop for a second because I'm just so excited. <laughs> so, oh my gosh! All right, I can't talk and drive. This is just too exciting. A few moments later. Okay, I just needed a second to kind of center myself, <laughs> relax. I am just super excited. This is such a nice van. I am so impressed. Cannot wait to share it with you guys. So the first thing I had to do is just kind of get the seat comfortable for me because it's an electronic uh, seat. So it has tons of you know features and movements and all sorts of stuff. Got all that set. Also had to get the mirrors so that I could see, you know, be safe. But uh, all in all, I think I'm ready for a nice drive. First impressions after driving the van for about, you know, 45 minutes on the highway here in California. This Mercedes van has way more power than the Ram Promaster. It, it is <laughs> vastly different. Obviously it's a different seat kind of driving configuration. So for me, it's just getting used to that feeling that it, cause it does feel different. If I had a negative and I even hate to say it, but the mirror is really small. So you have a huge blind spot which I'm not really used to, but it does have like the whole uh, obstacle detection, but that definitely covers it for you. And other than that, so far, it's been a great ride. I love it. What are you doing? Just looking around, just checking out all of the bits and bobs. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. First thing, let's head into the grocery store and get some groceries. All right, groceries done. Now, let's go to the beach. Well, we've arrived here at the beach. The plan is we're gonna stay here until we have to leave or we are ready to leave because then we're gonna go stealth park probably in a neighborhood tonight. But this seemed like the easiest place to come park, kind of, you know, gather ourselves, unpack our stuff, get everything where it goes, and cook a little dinner. This is a mess. We need to fix this. All right, we're going to clean this up in five, four, three, two, one. All done. Look at this. It's amazing. It's all made, except for this is gonna be a very tight fit. I don't think it's gonna be tight, just different, because one of us is gonna have to sleep at an angle, and I'm assuming that's gonna be you, because you're gonna be closer to the bathroom. Oh, that's true. How cool is this setup? The best setup ever. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Mm. Nothing like chips and salsa? with guacamole at the beach. Love it. I mean, does it get any better than this? We got our ocean view. And Bob is making us some tacos. tacos. I've never actually cooked on an induction cooktop. 
What do you okay. think? I actually really like it. It gets hot quick. So this is our setup, guys. Unfortunately, we don't have any seasonings, but I'm gonna try to, you know, spice it up a little bit with some onions and a little salsa. There we go. Thanks. Did that guy just make your night? He did. What did he say? He was like, kill a rig, bro. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> oh, no. This just makes Bob want this even more. Oh, my gosh. It is going well. Induction is very different to cook with, so I'm learning. But all in all, it's good. That's enough? I think so. I think you did good. Okay. This is our dinner. Looking good, Bob. I thank you. <laughs> Here's my tacos. Talking about me or the tacos? Uh, both. So, bon appetit. Bon appetit. I mean, look at this. Cool setup. I love how big this table is. I mean, come on. This is amazing. Mmm. Mm. So good. We are off to go and find a place to camp tonight. Well, camp? Stealth no. camp. Stealth camp. Oh. I mean, you can stealth camp in this, right? I think so. I don't know how stealthy we're going to be, <laughs> but we're going to go find a place. Yeah. <sighs> Back in my happy place. <laughs> no. The thing that I do find quite interesting is the drive reverse mechanism and the parking brake. So you have to turn the parking brake off every time you get in the van and drive is down, yeah. which to me feels like reverse uh -huh. and forward or up is reverse. I, my brain doesn't work that way, but I'm going to have to make it work. No idea what all these buttons do. But we're going to turn on the fog lights, the auto lights, my seat. Oh, we have a seat warmer. There's a seat warmer. There is a seat warmer. Wow. I feel like I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Mm. found a spot here in a nice quiet neighborhood so we're gonna get ready for bed getting all the window shades okay all right we sealed up we are in so how are these window shades these window shades are phenomenal like they fit in there so snug so perfect. Wow. I mean, just Oof. they're in there. Okay, so night one, sleeping in this awesome van. So far, so good. I have plenty of room, which is great. Uh, John, the owner, told us that you could be six eight and fit in this bed. So we'll see. We'll see how we sleep, but I think it's going to be a very, very Cozy night sleep. Cozy. We're going to be a lot closer than we're used to. We'll see you guys in the morning. I'm cheating a little bit today using these pre cut potatoes and they're pre seasoned. Good morning guys from the comfy bed. I have to say, I was a little nervous with our first night of sleeping in this bed because the mattress is only like that big and we are used to an actual mattress in our van and we're also used to a mattress topper. So I was a little nervous like, is this gonna be comfortable enough? Um, but I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. Whatever they used, for this mattress, it's definitely like a squishy, nice quality memory foam type mattress, but it definitely is a little more 
firm than we're used to. So, but all in all, not a bad night's sleep at all. Even though this bed kind of um, is wider up top, it's hard for me to show you this, and then skinnier down below, right? You got the, it kind of curves this way. It didn't feel too small. It didn't feel cramped. It felt cozy, but in a good way. So I will say pleasantly surprised by this bed night one. Bob, did you sleep good too? I did sleep pretty well. I had plenty of room, which was always one of the things I'm nervous about in the Mercedes, you know, sleeping, I guess, yeah. perpendicular. Yeah. I had enough room and slept really comfortably. Yeah. So I was pretty impressed. Yeah. So it smells so good. It does. Look at the steam. Okay. Ready? Here it goes. Bon appetit. All right. All right, here's the first burrito. Mmm. Mmm. Seasoned to perfection. <laughs> scale of one to ten where's the cool factor at mm, probably like a 12. oh my gosh bob i'm feeling really cool right now are you i am all right let's head down to the beach <laughs> try that again okay maybe my cool factor is not a 12. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's head down to the beach All right, guys, so we just got done filming the video for the full van walkthrough. This is it. We just got done. Bob is just putting the drone away. We got our drone footage, everything we needed. So hopefully before this video, you watched that video because that one will come out before this one. But this is your shot. We just got done. All right, on to the next place. We're at Crystal Cove right now, and we're going to go up to Huntington Beach. Love it. So we lock the van all up, got oh. the shades all up, so it doesn't get too toasty in there. And open the vent. Oh, and open the vent. Yeah. Made sure it was all, all taken care of. And now we're gonna go walk the pier. It is one of our favorite things to do. So our brilliant idea of like going down to the beach, walking along the water, you know, enjoying the beach has been foiled. Why you ask? Well, there is fog rolling in. So it is almost four o'clock and this cloud bank rolled in, kind of ruining the whole evening to be honest because, well, can't watch the sunset now. It's literally, it just looks like milk. And I don't know. Look at it. <laughs> I mean, guys, look at the building. The top of the building. It's oh my goodness. It's so foggy. Wow. Well, well, what are we going to do? Maybe go out to eat. We did just meet some, some, some friends, some fans. Fans? I don't fans. know. I'd I don't call, know. I would call. So we met Charlie. Charlie. Uh, he had a, what did he have? A Ram Pro Master Thor. Talaro 20K. K. Which the whole reason why we met him was because we were looking over there and we're like, what is that? Because I, I kept looking at it going, it's a Talaro, but it looks like the, the bathroom's in the back. Yeah. We, yep. He came over yep. and he was like, the Van Kaskis. But we got to take a look at his van. It was yeah. a really cool yeah, layout. It was. We actually have never seen that layout before. Never. A Tolaro 20K. Have you guys seen it? Charlie, if you're watching, we love yeah. meeting you and your whole family. Your van was very cool. Yeah. Yeah. We 
are getting ready for bed, guys. We did not, we did not do a good job picking up the camera this evening. We went and found a really great Mexican restaurant to eat at. I think it was the Matador. I recommend the tacos. And yeah, if you can hear, Bob is trying out the shower. Obviously he's in there, so I'll just show you what it looks like. We'll get his review when he's done of how the shower was. But yeah, we had a great evening. And now we've just locked the van down. We're stealth camping again. I mean, kind of stealth. I mean, do we look still? I'm not really for sure. Let me know what you think. Are we stealth camping? <laughs> We're in a neighborhood parked on the street. So it is what it is. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> what? The shower is amazing. Is it? The hot water is super awesome. Is it? Yes. Is I just, I love how quick you just press the button. Yeah. And like, I don't know, five minutes later, you have hot water and the shower is fantastic. Great water pressure. Anyways, we are going to hunker down. We got all the window shades up and we're going to bed and we will see you guys in the morning when it's time to go get Mr. Lemon back. Morning. How does this open? We need a little light in here. How did you sleep? I actually slept decent. How'd you sleep? Good. Good. The Good. bed is a little stiffer than I'm used to because I'm a sli side sleeper. Oh. But yeah. You know. Yeah. But I you slept. slept good. But decent. I slept good. Okay. So I did think of something that is a drawback to this bed. And what it is, is if Bob has to get up and go to the bathroom at night, he literally has to crawl over me. That is not fun. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably the only drawback to this bed that I can think of. Other than that, I actually felt I slept decently and I don't feel like it's too, like we have plenty of room this way. Yeah. And this way, With plenty of with room. With this fine, yeah. the, the length is great with that extra yes. room up here. Yeah. It's actually very comfortable, yeah, so. I, which I'm surprised by. I was a little concerned, like, yeah. oh, we have to sleep parallel or not parallel. Yeah, because we normally sleep this yeah. way and we're sleeping this way. <sighs> it's time to get up, get on with all day. It's time to return this van and go pick up Mr. Lemon. <laughs> yeah, sad I, day. No, <laughs> I miss I miss our van. I do. I'm... I think it's because I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, this definitely has lots of pros, but it, it definitely has some cons for us. It's It's been a fun change though, hasn't it? It it, it really has been fun trying yeah. out a new van. Yeah. You know, different layout, being on a Mercedes chassis. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. So yeah. time to van swap back and go back to normal. All right. See you guys when we get ready. Driving this is pretty fun. Like it is such a smooth ride. You feel so much higher up, which because you are, but I'm, uh, I'm with Bob on this where this is pretty fun to drive. Well, I am really enjoying the ride in this van. It has enough power, uh, much more power than the Ram ProMaster, that is for sure. And it's just a really nice machine to drive. So I <laughs> absolutely loved cruising around in this thing, enjoying the beach, spending some time in it, and taking you guys along with it. Yeah. But now we are on our way to drop it off and return it to its rightful owner. And we'll be back to Mr. Lemon. No, so I miss Mr. Lemon. <laughs> I will say spending some time in a different van did help me appreciate uh, some of the things that uh, that I like about our van and why we bought our van. Yeah. Helps me remember those things. Yeah. But uh, all in all, this was a great experience, especially because I got to drive a Sprinter, which I've never done before. 
and got to, you know, enjoy this custom layout. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, there's a few parts to that car on the highway. Never been in a custom van, never, never actually really been in any other vans except for the ones we've owned, or I should say, we've never stayed in any other vans except for the two that we've owned. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Good experience though. I, I mean, yeah. this van is just, it's a nice van. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been a fun ride for sure. There's Mr. Lemon. Well, we're back in Mr. Lemon. Mr. Lemon. I did miss Mr. Lemon. He is home. You know, yeah, we, he's we, comfy. We know him very well. Yes. And all of his flaws. Yes. We but, really. Okay, wait. We really love Mr. Lemon when he's working correctly. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But. But there's definitely some noticeable differences. We sit. We're sitting a little bit lower. Which do you like that? Uh, no, I actually like sitting up higher, <laughs> significantly better. Your cool factor kind of goes down. Yeah, a cool right factor now. like <laughs> down in the dumps. No, no. All in all, we're not getting rid of Mr. Lemon. No. We're keeping Mr. Lemon. Yes. Uh, it's just not in the cards. But what a cool experience to get to try out a custom van. And, and it also be a sprinter. Like that was a Mercedes sprinter. Like we feel really honored to uh, have gotten that opportunity. So but we're back in Mr. Lemon. Mr. Lemon's adventures continue. Until next week where we drive it off of a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, that's all we've got for you guys today. So don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help out the channel. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.